On a previous video, one of you requested a tutorial on how to create motion vectors in Arnold for Cinema 4D. So here it is. Motion vectors allow you to add motion blur to your renders and comp. Open the Arnold render settings under the main tab, scroll down to the motion blur section, check enable, and then check instantaneous shutter for motion vectors. Add Arnold object tags to any object in your scene that needs motion blur. In this case, I have camera movement, so I'm applying the tags to all of the objects in my scene. In each Arnold tag, make sure you check Use Motion Vector. Next, add object masks to each of your moving objects, label them accordingly. Go back to the Arnold render settings and open the AOV tab. Under Inactive AOVs, double click the Motion Vector AOV, the Z Pass AOV, and the object masks that you created. Make sure you're rendering a multipass render. In my case, I'm rendering multi-layer EXRs. Render your animation. When you import your image sequence into After Effects, make sure you check Create Composition under the Import Options, then click Import. This will open another Import Options menu. I'm importing as a composition with pre-composed layers as an open EXR sequence. This will extract all of your layered AOVs automatically. Duplicate the beauty pass for each object you'll apply motion blur to. Pre-comp these duplicates with the motion vector pass and relevant object mask. In each pre-comp, use the object mask to mat your beauty pass and solo each moving object. Add the Real Smart Motion Blur Pro Vectors effect to an adjustment layer in each pre-comp targeting the effect to the motion vector pass at the bottom of the comp. Now dial in the settings of the motion blur. Keep in mind that the faster an object moves, the more motion blur it will create. In my render, the background is moving quickest due to the camera rotation. The steps in the spheres will have less motion blur since they move slower in relation to the camera. All right, now we've got motion blur. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. It helps the channel grow and lets me know the videos are helping. Head over to my Instagram account and check it out there. Let me know if you have any questions or tutorial requests in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next tutorial.